All right, folks, we just completed uh, a complete cycle here on Empire Elite 100. Uh, just came up to temp, went to, I got it set for 180 degrees. It shut off here about five minutes ago. The house is not calling for any heat at this time, so the temp actually overshoots a little. We're at 187 right now, which uh, that's that's not an issue. Water boils at 212 normally, so there's there's no problem with that. But this is a time frame when you come out, you don't necessarily want to open the door because the unit has shut down. The blower fan has stopped blowing air in there, so it's looking for oxygen. Uh, if you were to just go over, move the position lever to the load, and open the door, there's potential that you could get a flashback there. Uh, so the way that this unit is designed, if you take the switch to the load position, it starts the blower fan up, it opens an exhaust port up, so you give it oxygen and you kind of reignite the fire. Now I'm going to do it fairly quick here just to show you. Now there's probably not a lot of fire going on in there but because it just shut off <clears throat> a couple of minutes ago but there's going to be some uh, just by the nature of it it just shut down. So I'm going to move from the run to the load and open the door in a, in a quicker manner than what you'd want to do uh, in normal operation. And at this stage, you wouldn't want to load the stove unless you had to load it to go somewhere. It's obvious that the stove is up to temperature it, and the fan's not running, so it doesn't need wood. You want to burn these units through complete cycles if you can. So you can stir up the coals at the end. And I like to scrape off uh, any creosote that's on the edge of the stainless by where the uh, fire brick meets. That's, that's where it tends to build up. Uh, I like to scrape that down each time I, before I load the stove. So you wouldn't want to load now. If you had to load because you were leaving, you can do that. You'd move it to the load position, pause there for a couple of minutes, let the thing get going so that when you open the door, you're not going to get a flashback on you. Uh, then you could stir the coals up, scrape it down, and, and load the stove. But I'm going to do just an example here to show you what's going on with this. So, I'm going to go to the load position. The blower fan started back up because I moved to that load position. I actually heard some stuff going on actually in the chimney when I did that because it transitioned the heat from going down into the secondary burn to up the chimney. And I'm going to open the door and there's not much going on in there right now. So that's pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. I was, I'm surprised because it hadn't shut off that long ago. It might have been 10 minutes. But that's what we've got uh, inside there right now. And I'll kind of zoom in there. There we go. I was looking at the heat shield. But that's what we got going on. Uh, See if I can lower this down. So this is what it looks like inside the combustion chamber when we've gone up to cycle and the unit is shut down. You can see there's a fair amount of creosote that builds up. You can see it on the door. That was one of the reasons that in version 2 models 
we went to this cam lock uh, latch. It, everything latches from the outside. Original version, the thing had uh, a lever that locked on the inside. It could get built up with creosote. This creosote will burn off when we're at the tail end of the burn cycle where it's looking for moisture, okay? So that's what we got going on. The house turned on and is calling for heat. I'm going to go back to the run position. We're, we're, we're at 181 degrees up here. The house is calling for heat right now, at least it was uh, when I started this process here. So that temp will go down. There's a 10 degree differential. I've got it set for 180. So at 169, the 11th degree, it'll turn the fan on. And it'll start heating it back up to temperature. And I'll try to catch that and we'll look at what it looks like when it first starts back up. All right?